Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with part two of my quest for eel and garfish. Uh, I have decided to take a look at some of the suggestions that I have been given from my various viewers and subscribers, and it seems like there's been multiple cases of people stating that I needed to use a certain type of lure, and honestly, it was not a lure that would have occurred to me to use, because I already have the darn thing, and there's various versions of it. But let's go ahead and jump in. I'll show you what I mean. Alright guys, we are back here where we're supposed to be. And I'm trying to remember. I think they said in one of the best places was at the third spawn point. So this is where I did catch them before. So it sounds about right. This is where I did catch the eel before. Now, this is the lure that we're going to be interested in getting here. Let me go back to my... Set number three. Now it is a it is a lure, obviously, but it's one of the very first lures. It's the Robinson Classic Twist. This one, the one that they give you early on in the game, the one of the very first ones. I don't know if it's the thirteen or the five point three. I guess it doesn't matter which color is best. We've got four of these one of these let's try let's try the one with the the real bright tail first and see if that doesn't work but that's apparently the one that they go for and apparently the gar do too both of them really like this particular type of lure so we're going to see if that is the case now i think what we got here let's see we are what time of day noon I'm not sure if that's the best time for them, but we'll give it a try. If not, we'll go to evening. I know they tend to bite better in the evening. Something moving around over there. We always get a few lag issues when we first come in. That's usually due to the shaders. But after a bit of time, it tends to fix itself. Well, this stands out like crazy, and you need to really apparently take it down real slow like 14 percent or something like that to get their attention anything faster than that and it's, they're just not going to go for it they said 10 to 14 percent if this happens right off the bat then I'm going to be like well son of a gun because you have no idea how long I was trying to catch those guys <laughs> Son of a gun! Well, it's not an eel, but it's one I have not caught before. That, my friends, is a flounder. That is a flounder. I'll be doggone. I will take him. Without a doubt, I will take him. I haven't caught a flounder yet. That's pretty cool. I'll be doggone. Yeah, it sure is. European flounder. Well, 208. Wow. Okay, I've been fishing for the wrong stuff. He only weighs 4 pounds, but he's 208.25. I guess because they're just so popular for eating. But, jeez. you got to be kidding me. He's kind of hovering in her hands there a little bit, but... There you go. European flounder, huh? That's my first one. Let's see how much. Well, he's worth more by far keeping, without a doubt, than getting rid of. Let's see if we can't. So that's the cash cow here, apparently. Well, I learned a lot just in a few moments here, guys. Just in a very few moments, I just learned how to make a bunch of cash very fast. I don't know how much the eels bring or the garfish bring, but if they bring anything close to that, 
I know where we're going to be spending some time and what we're going to be fishing for. Okay, he's acting a little twitchy. There's an eel. And we got him. There's our first eel. There we go. We got it. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for the the advice, dudes. Thank you. We got our eel. All right. There's a little slimy, squiggly guy. Take a look at him, too. Now he's about 1729. He's only about a pound, so he's kind of little. Now I did, like I said, I did much, much earlier before they made this updates to this map catch one of one, a different lure, but and it was bigger. But that's at least our first eel, and he had no problem going for that. Not one iota. Kind of like to see what. If they're any bigger out there near the ocean part of it. I might do that here in just a minute. Let's see what we can get under here first. I don't think I've seen any garfish over in this part of things. So that may be necessary so we can get them in the first place. And they might not go for this particular color. I just think it stands out really well. I mean, that really looks enticing. The way that spins around like that. That coloration, too. It stands out real well. Very contrasting. I see another flounder down there. Tell if he's there's a lot of stuff down there that looks like it could be possibilities. What's this? It's a garfish! Yes, 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 yes. There's oh my god, there's like three out it was actually two out of two, but three out of three because I got a flounder too. That makes every species caught. Every species caught. There we go. Garfish. Garfish. Awesome. Yeah, they're not worth much. Yeah, they're not a really good eating type of fish. But I just wanted to get one. I mean, new personal record, of course. It's the first one I've caught. Yeah, he's 2.55 feet. They're really long. 1.45 pounds. He's a long, skinny little guy. Let's see. Let's take a look at him. I want to see what he looks like when she holds him. Yeah. Now, we have something similar to that in this area called a long nose gar. And they have a real long snout like that, and they're full of tiny little teeth. Just rows and rows of teeth. And they will... They they hurt when they, they catch you. They hurt. And they're also armored. They've got like... They're very ancient fish, and they're armored all along their bodies, so they're real tough. They call them bait stealers. But those teeth have... Can, when they bite you, the... Uh, their slime will get into that and it really hurts like all get out it's like a bee sting almost in pain really painful sometimes and it's a two so apparently you don't get much for them but he's cool looking damn that was fast <laughs> that was pretty daggone fast well, let's see what we can do about going over here see if we can't get some bigger ones maybe The ones I saw here were good size. And I was seeing them right out there. There's like a lot of underwater logs and stuff. And they were hanging out near those. Well, we got some other underwater stuff here too. I'm 
hoping. Yep. Oh. Yep. Good going. Yep. He sure didn't give it much of a chance to get through there, did he? Okay, this is a kind of a popular lure. I will give it that. I think that's an asp, if I'm not mistaken. I didn't get a real good look at him, but... And if he is, he's fairly decent sized, yeah. 320. Yeah, I don't want to throw it too far out. Just about, yeah, about that far. If I throw it too far out, I'll get snagged up or hung up like I did just a minute ago. Yeah, that's better. Thing is, if those if ass are going for it, then we're gonna have a little species competition going on. We may have some issues with getting the ones we want. Instead, getting the ones we don't want. There's an eel, and there he goes. Yes, 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 yes. I told you I saw an eel over here. Told you, told you, told you. All right. Yeehaw! There we go. Okay, Mr. Eel. Okay, not my best eel, but still. Neil, nonetheless. So he is only. He hasn't even got a star rating. Which means they get so much bigger than that, apparently. $20. It's not bad. Oh, look at his tail. He's, that's funky. Yeah, he's quite a bit bigger than that last one. They're really odd looking fish. Let's try throwing it a little bit further over this way and see what we what we attract here. I really want to get a big one. I wonder if there's oh, shoot, we got a lot of logs here though. I'm surprised we didn't get hung up on that. Okay, there's a good sized sturgeon. I think they pretty much go for them too. You already know asps do. And I think that might be what that is. Nope, that's codfish. Now the question is, do these things come in a bigger size lure? Because maybe bigger sizes mean bigger fish. That fish is going to go for it. Uh, unless he does first. Yes, 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 yes. We have getting our eels today, guys. We are getting our eels. Alright. Let's see if this one's bigger than the last one. Ah, oh, yeah, much bigger. And he's a star. So, now we're talking. 52.94, much healthier one. I didn't even have to go to the, the camera. They automatically took him up there so we could see him up close. Definitely getting a picture of this fellow. Very, very nice. So I don't know which is better. I mean, I'm getting them over there and I'm getting them here, but there are obviously some much bigger ones here. I guess it's just a matter of figuring out where the biggest ones are. Got a lot of spawning going on around us, so that's good. Now, 
what was that? That was not an eel. That is a garfish, I think. Is that a garfish? It's hard to tell. Yeah, it is a garfish. Oh, he got off. I'll be damned. Guess I didn't get the hook set real good. Oh, well. Well, let's try that again. So there are garfish over here, too. I can't believe he got off of there. I guess I didn't pull up enough. Ooh, that I want. That I want. That's like mega bucks there, right, guys? Mega bucks. We want the flounder. Mega bucks, mega bucks. Ah, Xander. That's a Xander. It's like, oh, damn, it's a Xander. <laughs> We've gotten to that level, guys, and we're like going, oh, shoot, just an old Xander. 2185. Well, we kind of have. I mean, we were, you know, getting a Xander was a big deal before, but now you want to get like European flounder, get that cash. $202 for a four pound fish. And I know flounder come a lot bigger. You get a 20, 25 pounder, what's that going to bring you? I mean, there's an eel right there, just with my name on it. It's also Wells Catfish. Yep, there he is. I'm not sure that's the same eel, but I'll take him. Ooh, I liked how they jump. Now, he's not as big as the last one. He's 1756. One pound. Not too bad. Not too bad. Well, let's see if we can't check somewhere else in the map. Now, I did see them over on this little islandy thing. Obviously noon is a very good time. Yeah, I was fishing out towards this area on this side of things. Saw quite a few of them. I don't know if they're any bigger or not, but I think I might change it to a different color just to see. If not, we'll go back. But I wonder if these other twisters will do it too. We've got the classic twist, which is what we were using. Then we got this 8 centimeter UFA twister. Well, let's try this one. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's do this. First, let's see if we'll get one off, out fishing this way. If we do, we'll switch off to the different color. If we still do, then we'll try the bigger one. Let's see if that doesn't make any difference. Obviously, these guys like to go for the big soft baits but then so do Xander and then so do Aspen there's another eel alright well we know they're here oh boy this is this guy's a bit this guy's a bit bigger We're quite a bit bigger He's actually giving me a little bit of a fight. Yes, he is. I'll be darned. He's actually giving me a little bit of a fight. Let's see how big he is. Whoa, nice. He's still only one star, but he's 4.19 pounds. He's $69.00. Quite a bit bigger. It's a better shot too, by the way. 
Nice fish. Yeah, let's switch over to this other lure. Let's see if color makes a difference. And if color does not, let's try the bigger lure. Maybe we'll get a bigger fish. Let's let that drop all the way down. Oh yeah, look at all the cover down here. No wonder there's so many fish here. All kinds of cover. Underwater bushes and trees and... Ah, you stupid perch. <laughs> Damned old perch. He must be a good size because he's given a pretty good fight for such a little fella. Come on, big guy. Obviously, you wanted to muscle your way into my net there. Yep, he's a personal record. Two stars. Two star perch. It's not a bad perch. 740, 748. Hmm. Yeah, he actually fills up her hands a little bit. Huh. Alright, we'll try that again. So you gotta aim toward the Viking ship. That looks really cool, the way they did that underwater. The bushes and the old tree trunks. Uh, I think we got us a sea bass here, yep. Okay, well, it looks like we're getting different fish here, guys. Not entirely convinced of that, but I think we are. The color does seem to be attracting a different group of fish. So far, we've gotten perch, and we've gotten European... Or no. Sea bass, or whatever they call them. European bass. And they're good cash too. Don't don't get me wrong. Looks like I completed some kind of mission there. Yep, single species brook trout. Well, I can't do that here. I will try it one more time with this lure, and I think I'll go to that other lure. give that one a, a little bit of a try but yeah I had no sooner thrown that hot pink one in when exactly the same fish went for it so that's not happening here we're getting plenty of bites but we're just getting a different fish yep yep see another perch yeah, we'll let him go so let's try a different color I see that the only difference between that and this is the coloration that's it now, there are some others here that I have purchased that look similar. They have a little squiggly tail like that. And I want to give them a try, too. I don't know if 
there any that have that kind of coloration though. Let's see if they will work well at low speeds too. Yep, they do. Be interesting to see what goes for this, honestly. If anything. got something that's seeming to be interested. I don't know. They're doing a lot of twitchy stuff. Oh. Looks like our sea bass do. See, that's the only problem I had though was that the coloration of this is very similar to the first one. It's not striking colors. That's my new personal record. 172. Eight pounder. Two stars. Yep, we're keeping him. What do we got here in our inventory? Let's see, we've got that one, obviously. We also have this red one with the black, red, red spots. We could go to the shop. See if there are any other colorations of the same types. Let's see, the ones that I was I had tried. Now, here's the ones with the bright colors not so bright. See, that might... the blue might get a different reaction altogether. It's hard to say. So we've got those are the soft lures. And we got these twisters that are black with the bright colors. That could get an interesting reaction. See, I've got that one, yellow gold. This black red might get a completely different reaction. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and buy that. And I'm going to switch that out. And we're going to see what happens if we get different species to go for it or if we get any reaction at all. Okay, he's definitely on a beeline for it. Yep, it's a Xander. That doesn't really show us anything. Except that Xander likes soft lures, which you already know they do. So, but we know what we'll go, they'll go for. Give me a pretty good fight. Does not want to come. Come on, big fella. Ninety-three dollars. That's a decent Xander. Twelve pounds. Not a record, but still a decent fish. Entirely convinced this isn't attractive to the other species, but there are a lot of Xander in this particular area, I will tell you that. Yeah. 
Yeah, it seems like the codfish are not interested in this at all. But yeah, I didn't get nearly as much off of that as I did some of the other things. All right, let's go ahead and go. Let's go ahead and go back to three. And I think what we probably ought to do, and I'm not going to do this in this episode, but I think it would be a good idea to go through and try the different colorations, just to see. You know, I might go ahead and actually do that. Go to the shop because I got enough cash. Go in here to the shop, the lures, and buy one of each of these. Got that. Got that. I think I already have that one. And just give each one a try and see what the heck does or does not go for it. See, that looks like that would be inviting to something. You know, these colors are wild, and sometimes a fish just likes a certain color. I mean, same would be true with the crankbaits if they exist. I don't know if they do or don't. But, like this white and red, that seems like something that they would go for, but I, I can't purchase those just yet. I can get the frogs now. I don't have any frogs. But I'm not sure if anything here would go for them. There's a rider frog. But I might go ahead and buy one just to have one. Let's just give her a little try. I haven't tried out the frogs. Nothing may go for it at all. Just looks interesting. Now this is going to be off the top of the water, obviously, because it is a top water lure. to probably play around the speed on it so that it turns green okay it's doing better at 18 so 18 is probably preferable since it's got legs I would think Just a steady straight seems good to me. I don't know if anything will go for it or not. May have to be at a different lake altogether. This seems more like a an lake like some of the first ones. Well, maybe not. Damn. <sighs> I'll be damned. I did not expect anything to go for that. I really didn't. That's the honest God's truth. I did not expect anything to go for it. And he is determined to get that... I think it's an Atlantic Salmon, too. Yeah, it is. Come on, big guy. And you are a big guy, without a doubt. Okay, we're going to have to do some fighting on this one, guys. Got some pretty decent gear, but he's a pretty decent fish. Okay, we're getting a little bit. Oh, good, we can walk the fish too. Doesn't hurt to walk the fish if you can. Yeah, we're gonna get him in out of the water without him knowing it. There we go. Now, he's not a record, but he's a decent fish. We now know that the frogs they go for. It's good to know. Now, is he worth more XP or cash? Hmm, that's a tough one. That's a lot of cash, though. I think we'll keep him. We need to go ahead and sell some of ours because I think our net's getting a little bit full here. Almost full here. We got plenty of. Let's just sell it all. Alright, we're going to try this one more time, guys. 
and if nothing goes for it I think we're just gonna go ahead and call this an episode I am kinda curious to see if something more than just a line salmon go for this particular lure I'm getting some lag again I had to stop the computer just for a little bit and some that must have been enough to make it have a little bit of a tough time yeah I think 22 is probably a better speed for you to try probably ought to take that drag down a little bit too now I think about it just in case we get some kind of a monster that decides to go for it. Like that one. <laughs> yep, I think it's yet another well, no, it might be a sea. It might be a sea trout. I think it might be a sea trout. Yep, it is a sea trout indeed. Well, yeah, let's bring him up, see how big he is, and go from there. Well, maybe we'll bring him up. Ugh. He is not coming all that willingly. surface where I can see what I'm doing with the fight a little bit better. Okay, yeah, we are definitely fighting this guy tooth and nail. Or tooth and fin. be one of my best ones. And there he is. He's not the best, but he's up there. 29 pounder. 29.21 pounds, $276. Whew. That one's a hard one to, to say, though. But I think I'm going to keep him. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this this episode. We managed to accomplish everything, <laughs> honestly, that we hoped to accomplish in the last episode that didn't accomplish. But anyway, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye bye.